I've been able to get really close to the badgers over the years, and so much so I'm actually now able to feed them out of my hands. It's quite special when you come home and you've got a bit of badger spit on your fingers. It's uh, quite incredible uh, to have been that close to a completely wild animal. So the badgers I watch are still totally wild badgers. They still need to go out and forage and hold their territory. So it's a case of habituating them enough for my studies and to form that relationship with them. I'm Robert Fuller, a wildlife artist. It really informs my artwork because I'm able to be there with the badgers, but I'm able to actually uh, touch them. I can feel the fur, I can feel the claws. Badger buccaneer, my kids call me. <laughs> I love painting and I love wildlife, so the two came together. I've always had this ambition to film in the chambers. So what I want to see is what people don't normally get to see, wildlife hidden away, what happens underground. You can't just simply lift the lid on a wild set. So I decided to build a badger set in my garden. It took me three years. Building the set was one thing, then it was a case of rigging it with cameras to get all different camera angles in there. It's a bigger job sometimes as building it. I put a network of tunnels in and the chambers, and all I needed then was some badgers. So I got a call one evening and uh, three badger cubs had uh, been handed into a rescue center, and this was uh, the moment I'd been waiting for. So these were found on the road in the middle of the day. Three badger cubs, it's a good start for a clan system. It's one of those like fist pumping moments that you just think, yes, we've, we've done it, we've got them in there. And it's just something I've been dreaming of for ages. In the next few days, I was literally glued to the video screens, watching their every movement. I've never seen badgers sleeping. They look as if they play fighting to us, and they are. But this is important uh, life skills, getting ready for the outside world. It ends up quite compulsive viewing. I've always got one eye open in my peripheral vision because I never really want to miss a moment of their lives. You know, just real unusual things like watching them yawning. I've never seen a badger yawn before in my life and I've watched them night after night. This is something that very, very few people get to witness. We were in there for three weeks when the real special day is when we opened up the doors. This is their moment to be wild and free, you know, wild badgers. It's a real privilege to actually be there, one of those pinnacle moments of badger watching. The young badgers and the young foxes had definitely formed this sort of relationship. There was a, a sense of play between them. morning and what I wanted to know are they back in the set and switched the monitors on got all of the cameras up and the badgers are actually still in a set and we knew then we've got happy badgers it's literally like a, a mini drama going on a soap opera in a way so this is uh, something that's turned into a slight obsession I think <laughs>